So guys, welcome back to the channel. In this box, I have a mature male in seat gold for my adult female and some other little things. This came from a nice guy on Facebook, so I'm gonna open it up and uh, we'll see what we have. Here we go, we have a mature male in C, hidden away in here. Postotheria smithy, which you can see down here. It's a good, good little size. A Carabana Versicolor. I had to get another one of these because mine unfortunately escaped and then died. I will explain that in another video. And a Postotheria Ornata. So let's have a look at these guys. So guys, I'm now going to rehouse my um, new Carabana Versicolor. As I said in my um, unboxing video, or at the beginning of this video, the reason why I have another Carabana Versicolor is because I, my last one, unfortunately died. Um, and again, it's a mistake that I made. And I'm going to do a video on mistakes because I don't believe that they are things that people should feel um, scared to talk about. And, and, you know, because we're all human and we all make mistakes. And I will be honest, I had some quite bad ridicule um, from people for the mistake that I made and um, I just really don't think that ridicule, ridiculing people is really necessary if I'm completely honest, um, especially when the mistake is not really a mistake, it's more just an accident that I didn't see coming. So. Um, I am going to do a video about mistakes and I and that will include talking about mistakes that I have made um, keeping tarantulas and animals in general because let's face it we're all human and we all make mistakes and I think the more transparent we are about making these mistakes the less people feel the need to put you down about making these mistakes um, but I will talk about that more in detail a little bit later on so let's move on to the next rehouse that was a really easy basic rehouse and the little one is just there okay now I'm gonna rehouse uh, my post smithy everybody gets a little nervous when rehousing a post I don't care what you say if you do not get a little bit nervous when rehousing any kind of pokey then you would be silly not because they are particularly aggressive. So far I've found that none of mine are aggressive. However, they're an arboreal old world, which means not only are number one, they are lightning fast, and number two, they can potentially have a nasty bite if they were to bite. But again, I, I wouldn't say that they are a particularly aggressive species. I know some people think that they they are, but I really haven't seen that. So let's go ahead and rehouse this one. And this one's quite close to the top, which makes me a... Which does make me a little bit more... A little bit more cautious. But, you know, it's a sling. If it comes running out, it comes running out. I mean, it's not a sling sling. It's a, it's a good size. Um, I'm trying to think what the best way is, is to maybe... Put that down in there. The more careful you do this, the better it's likely to go. You can always remove this pot a bit later on. My aim is to simply get this spider to come out. Let's give it a poke in that direction so that it doesn't... Come on. This one is actually a good, a very good size.
I don't want it coming out this way. For some reason it seems to be wanting to come out sideways. So I'm just going to put that like that and gently take out this tissue. And you know, you could always leave it to come out on its own. So I think it's going to, oh, there we go, here it comes. Oh, there we go. That wasn't so bad. The bigger they are, the slightly calmer they tend to be. Right, I'll see if I can get a nice little shot. Slaveria smithy or smith eye, however you want to pronounce it. Very happy. Right, moving on to my Postlatheria ornata. This one is pretty small, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to have a little... Yes, really, really, did he? Did he? Oh, Adam, that's you and your son that's got me into saying, did he? Oh. Come on, Elton. Oh, no, no, not. Sorry that I'm not talking much, guys. I'm just obviously focusing on getting the tarantula out without it going all over the place. These guys are lightning fast as slings. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on. I'm just lightly. There we go. Down it's gone. Okay. my small little postlatheria ornata. So that makes one, two, three, four, five postlatheria species, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now it's time to rehouse my mature, mature male in sea gold. Um, he's a lot smaller than the female, which is it's kind of what you what you want. He's right there with his spindly legs. So let's place him there. Let's get the lid and then let's just try and coax him out. These guys can be quite fast. All in sea species can be 
quite fast. He's being reluctant to come out. I'm going to be pairing him fairly quickly with my adult female because he recently made a sperm web with the breeder that I got him from and I've been advised that he is absolutely good to go. So and there he is. Oh, this is what I mean. Incies are super, super fast. He's freaking out a little bit right now, but it's okay. now that he's got his feet out of the way. So I don't think he's an NC gold, I think he's just an NC normal form, but that, that really doesn't matter because you can breed NC gold and NC normal form um, together still and you will still get, um, it, it's not like inbreeding or or a different species or anything like that they will you'll get you could get like 50 50 so you could get half of the sack will be in gold half of the sack will be normal 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 form so yeah i'm gonna give him probably a couple of days to settle in um yeah i might just see i mean i'm gonna see if i can feed my female today and then i may pair him up straight away sometime later on today as i've said he i've been told that he's fully loaded and ready to go so he should be you know sort of uh prep to go but we'll see because I, I maybe would like to give him just a little bit of a break we'll see and I, I really want to make sure that my female is eaten I don't want um I don't want her to eat him so yeah so that concludes this unboxing video guys and uh shortly there will be a meet my tarantulas and meet my animals video coming up soon that I'm in the process of editing so uh, thank you guys for watching so much and uh, I really hope